If there's no union, workers have no voice. They just have to take the pay and conditions the boss offers. The union is the difference between bargaining and begging. We're here to keep workers strong and keep workers safe. We'll keep doing it despite those that want to stop us. The Australian Building and Construction Commission has extreme and draconian powers, which mean that construction workers can be subject to secret interrogations. All we want is to have the same rights as every other worker. If you haven't already heard, the court has found our tribe not guilty! So this is a victory. It's a victory for ARC. It's a victory for working people. And it's a victory for our civil liberties. Yeah, the support around Australia from everybody has been awesome. If it wasn't for the CFMEU, I'd, be, I'd probably be in the clink right now, you know, already. Making sure workers get home safely or are looked after if they are hurt is the main role of the union. Everything else comes second. As I was falling, I saw him sort of go like that which is sort of a natural instinct to put your, put your hands up. And that was all in slow motion as he went like that. And then as the, when the panel hit him, everything went in fast motion. Um, I don't know why that sticks in me head. My husband, Des, was killed in a worksite accident five years ago. He was working on a tilt-up wall that came down. He bled to death on site before anyone could help him. Every day, I think about him. Every day, I miss him. Every worker that goes to work in the morning has got a right to go home to their family that night. There's not too many office workers get killed falling off desks. Construction is a unique environment and our members and delegates know the dangers better than anyone. I've dealt with four fatalities in the industry in the, in the past two years. Nothing, like, well, nothing similar to this will ever happen again. I will not allow it. I will do something to prevent something similar from ever occurring again. And with the support of the union, I think that we've, um, you know, we can we can do it. There's a lot of big profits in construction, and we want to make sure workers get their share. Our members work hard, and they deserve a share of the wealth they create. At the moment, employers can import skilled workers without testing the local labour market. That means they can bring in workers even when there's Australians willing and able to do the work. Migrants aren't the problem. The problem is bad employers who want to use them to drive down wages and cut corners on safety. You know, the CFMEU is a great union. It is a strong union. It is solid, reliable, and it's really the heart and guts of the union movement. They're always there for all the other unions, for all of us. So this is a really good opportunity for the rest of the union movement to stand firm, to stand alongside the CFMEU and say, we really support you all the way through. And today is a perfect example of that. It's a huge crowd. All the unions are represented here. And as president of the ACTU, I, I feel really proud of the movement at this moment. If we want a strong construction industry in Australia, we need to train apprentices. Big companies are failing to train the next generation of workers, and we've had to fill the gap. Uh, I've been with the unions for two and a half years, ever since I got into the construction industry. It's opened up so many doors for me, met so many good people. That's uh, been good. Yeah, I'd like to get out of the piggy field. Once I get out of here, I'll go and get, do training and different job. I'll go to a training school when this job's finished and get a few tickets. The union's supportive of everybody. You get told what's going on and if you have any problems, they're always there, they're always only a phone call away. There's a few people that would rather we weren't around. But then again, there's a lot of people that want us to stay. As long as there are workers who want a fair deal on pay and safe sites, we'll be around. As long as workers' rights are under attack, we'll be there to defend them. In the end, we're only as strong as our members, our delegates and our organisers. We've come through a lot in the last few years, We've stayed strong and stayed united. We need to keep building this union. <laughs>